All right, yo, what's up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play MapleStory on your Legion Go with the built-in controllers. Let's get into it. All right, so this method of playing MapleStory is gonna be through Steam. So make sure you have Steam installed and you're logged into your Nexon account. Downsides of Steam is that you can't switch your Nexon account. You have to play with one account only. Uh, before anything, if you have Steam open and you did not run it as administrator, close it and then run it as administrator. You wanna make sure you run it as admin every single time. Otherwise, you're gonna have issues with the Steam input working. Okay, so next, make sure your controller is obviously connected. So now you're gonna go and you're gonna turn on Steam input. You just go here, you can disable or enable it here and then basically set up your controls. So the way that I have mine set up is, you know, just based on like how I play on the computer. So I'll grab a keyboard right here. Yeah, so when I'm playing MapleStory on the computer, I will use like mainly like these keys for like frequent attack skills that I use. Then th this is like my potion, buffs, summons, you know, extra buffs and toggles and stuff like that up here. And, uh, you know, freaking buffs, like basically how I play on the keyboard is how I'll base my philosophy for, you know, setting up these controllers. So all the keys I showed you at the bottom, they're either on these buttons right here or the triggers. The reason why I do that is because if I'm playing a game, a lot of games, your main attack skill is on the trigger. So I'm trying to follow that philosophy while uh, uh, taking all the skills from my keyboard. Things that are very essential, like I don't know about you, but I use enter and alt a lot. So when I'm navigating the menus in game with a keyboard, I'll use enter alt so that I don't really have to, you know, click and touch stuff a lot. So I'll have enter on the down D-pad right here. I'll have um, alt on the up one, shift is on the left, and then V is on the right. That's like maybe an ultimate or something like that you know the bottom keys will have escape and then this one is k for skills so that's kind of my philosophy but basically you want to set up all these these um buttons so you can do that by just tapping on or using the mouse you can tap on each button or button group and set them up how you want all right so skills in the game that you need to like hold down the button like let's say for hurricane skills then you would want to change that button settings to make sure that it, it enables turbo when you hold actually don't listen to me right here so when I was editing, I had a feeling that I got that wrong and I made a mistake. But basically for a turbo, you want to do that with your normal skills, like your main bossing attack that you hold down. Like, let's say basically with this skill, you know, you're going to spam it like this. You're going to hold, hold down the trigger or the button and it will spam like this. This is good for like bossing attacks and mobbing attacks. You want to be able to just press it whenever you want, you know, or hold it down if you want to. Do not turn on turbo for hurricane skills. I'm going to put Ishtar ring back here. Do not turn on turbo for those kind of skills because this is what will happen. Don't listen to this guy in the video. Listen to me. You don't you don't want to boss like this because that's inefficient, bro. Only turn on turbo for your main non-hurricane bossing and mobbing skills so that you can hold it down, you know, jump and attack and all that stuff if you need to. Do not do it for hurricane. All right, back to the video. Hold it down. So go into the button, go to the, the gear wheel next to it, and then go down and find hold to repeat. This is turbo. So you press that on and then boom. So now when I, I hold the left trigger, it's going to automatically repeat that skill. This is also useful for like your main bossing skill because sometimes, you know, the boss is stunned and in place and you don't want to like walk or jump or move or something like that. So you can just uh, hold down the skill and it will keep spamming that skill. Or, you know, it also helps with like jumping and attacking, being able to just press the button whenever you want uh, versus like it just triggering once type of thing. So, yeah, that just adds more flexibility. There's that. And yeah, for the right analog stick, some advice from me is like, one thing that I do with the right analog stick is I just use it for extra buffs and toggles and stuff like that. So obviously you can press it down to click a button. So I have eight and then push it right. That's nine. Push it left is zero. Down is the little hyphen key. And then up is the equal key. And basically like these are all buffs and toggles and stuff like that. Just makes it super easy to play the game. And it also gives the right analog stick use. You don't really need it to be a mouse cursor like how I had it on my RG Ally. On this, you have a trackpad. So you already have a mouse cursor, a mouse control built into the controller without you know mapping any of your gaming controls to a mouse so yeah once you set up your controls you're just gonna go out and then you can even save it so then you can export the layout or just you know share it so what i would do is i would export it to obviously your legion go so that it's just there and it's something saved and you can also download it or whatever it is just make sure you have a copy of your layout so that if it gets ruined or reset somehow you have that backup and then once you do all that and it's enabled you can just press b go back and then boom now you're ready to play all right so sometimes you know playing maple story this just happens normally even on computers you'll start the game and it won't work it'll crash so you just gotta keep trying to start it and then if you keep trying multiple times and you can't get it to work one thing you can do is go in your task manager and just 
you know, see if MapleStory is open because sometimes it'll be open, but it's not actually, you're not actually playing the game and it's just kind of there in the background. You just close that. You can look for Nexon stuff too. Close those things and then try to start the game again and it should work. All right, so this is something that happened on the RGLI and also it happens here. I think it happens on computer too, like just normal screens. But anyways, the game will start in the small resolution in windowed mode. And basically you just have to go into the game, log in and then change it there. But then sometimes it'll start in that mode and then you know it'll go back to your last uh set resolution so as you can see i had it in full screen and there we go we're in full screen so we're good but yeah so this is real time problem solving so i started the game and my controllers are not being recognized that is probably because steam input is not working because i need to run it as admin so i'm gonna close the game and go do that so i'm just gonna close steam exit steam shutting it down and then i'm gonna restart it run it as admin and then it should work so we're steam Tap and hold, run as admin, yes. All right, so one way that you can test to see if it's working is by doing this. So yeah, it's working. I'll use my enter and stuff. And then boom, there you go. Um, able to play the game. All my controls are here. And yeah. Uh, something about performance and battery life is for MapleStory, it doesn't really require that much power, obviously. You probably know that already. So you don't even have to have the TDP on a high. Like this is a custom one at 18 watts, but you can probably go quiet and the game will still run fine. Um, or you can even do custom and bring it down to like, you know, like let's say like eight watts and MapleStory will still run fine. You still have no issues. So damn bro, I have no weapons on this character. But yeah, you can put the TDP at the lowest and it will be fine. And then your performance should be all right. But sometimes, um, I don't know, the game is not the most optimized. So sometimes I feel like it might like leak into the RAM or something like that. Like it might just, it might slow down. And if it does, then you can turn up the TDP and it will probably impact the performance and make it run better. So there's that. Entering the cache shop sometimes will crash you because it changes the aspect ratio, the, the resolution. So there's that, just be aware of that. And then, yeah. You can adjust the resolution if you want, but keep in mind that this screen is it's not um, 16 by 9. I'm pretty sure it's 16 by 10, and that's a bit of a strange aspect ratio for this game. So if you do like certain things, certain aspect ratios, then it can fit weird on the screen. But overall, for the most part, this game runs well, works fine, and I have fun playing Maple Street on my handheld wherever I am. I use Hotspot with my phone and it works fine bro, no issues at all. So yeah, that's MapleStory on the Legion Go. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if there's any other videos that I should make on MapleStory on Legion Go or just in general with this handheld PC and even other PC games that you would like me to try on this. But yeah, that's all for now, we out, peace.